from a simple idea to a work in a spatial app. This is Ideaverse in action. In the last video, I told you about my plan on making a spatial productivity hub. My plan, my idea, my Ideaverse. Without the AI concept, I walk you through my PRD, my schedule and the prototype. Today, I'll be showing you the results of that work and I'll walk through the journey that made it possible. First of all, I needed a prototype, and I showed it to you in the last video. And to get that, I went to Figma AI, and it actually gave me an entire project instead of only a prototype. So it was made in React, and that made sense, considering the technologies that I'll be using in this project. So why not use it? I downloaded it, and here we have it. And we'll be using it as a first start and making modifications on the way. And I know that it has a lot of potential. So let's start by getting our hands on the code. And here is the project. I have opened it on Cursor. That's going to be my code editor for this project. Here I have a terminal. And I'm going to do as the read says. npm install to install the dependencies. We'll be waiting a little here, so that's it. Okay, installation is done, and now npm run dev. So we can start our development server. Nice! Um, this is our project as it came from Figma, and now we are going to do a little modifications. Saving it and let's see how it is. Okay, um, I believe that's better already. And now let's go through the web spatial and let's put this screen into the Apple Vision Pro. Okay, so here we have our application. Let's see it in full screen. Okay. Nice, we have our page and it, it is functional. So Okay, so now we have our website working on Apple Vision Pro. So the goal now is to transform this page that even though it's on Apple Vision Pro, it's a lot like a 2D screen, a flat screen page, and add some elements and some configurations that will make this more on the spatial computing way. Uh, let's go to the documentation again. Uh, we'll be relying on her a lot. Here. Okay, using the Web Spatial API, we want to specialize HTML elements. I just spent a lot of time reading the documentation and trying to apply the attributes to my code, but it wasn't working the way I wanted. So I asked Cursor for help and it did give me the results I wanted. So I'll just show you the code, the modifications we made, why it worked and the results. These were the files that had some modifications in them. Uh, most of them were just adding this attribute in Nagle XR. I added in all of the components here, the panel, again, again. But here is where it becomes uh, more significant the changes. First, I removed the background uh, things that were manipulating the background because you don't want a background. Then I had some modifications on the spacing, like putting to left and all of those things. Here also, I just uh, replace this property here for this one in percentage because it was 
it is easier for me to manipulate it. And here is one of the most uh, important things. It was removing these divs that were manipulating the background. So, yeah. And then we have a CSS. I had this that I got from the documentation, but I removed it because it wasn't necessary on my project. But these three attributes are the most uh, important. You have to put the background color as transparent. You had to set up this materials and here I put it the class that I just applied here on my CSS and the enable XR again. So this is the final result of my application for today. Uh, we have the post-it notes, we have the future to be canvas, we have a timer and we have a checklist. Uh, it's all interactive, however, I don't have buttons for now for creating new post-its or adding, to, adding this text and actually it's going to be one of my challenges. Uh, I don't know yet how am I going to make my user interact with the text on my application. I'll have to study about it, see how other applications made it, how, what is the guideline from Apple. And uh, I'll see you in the next video, I'll tell you all about it. I'm very excited to continue on this project and I'm very happy to see it taking, it fo taking form and that's it. Uh, let's create something magical. I've, I will push my code on, I will push the code of this project on my GitHub and the link is on the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in the next video.